Winnicky and Eric, you will hear some very tense moments, the gunshots, and then the sergeant telling dispatch that he has been shot. Now, a fellow police officer took that sergeant right here to the Food for Less parking lot to safety. He is now recuperating, as you said, and the suspect is in jail. Hey, we're turning the jail to court. Gut-wrenching to hear a Stockton police sergeant under fire and the gunshots just before he's hit. I'm shot. I'm taking around. Dispatch asks for his location. Galen Court. Who's still shooting? I'm Galen Court, Kenfield. I'm shot. Law enforcement officers from all over rush to get to the down police sergeant. A fellow officer reaches him and gets him to safety. 72, I got him. I have him in my vehicle. I'm going across the street to the food for less. It was just before 3 a.m. early this morning when officers got a call of a carjacking in North Stockton that left a 69-year-old man beaten down before the suspect stole his car. The sergeant who was in the area spotted the vehicle and chased after it. But when the suspect took off on foot, police say they fired at the Stockton sergeant. He was shot in the shoulder. We are thankful that um, our, our sergeant is in stable condition um, after suffering a gunshot wound. It's very concerning to us. Stockton police arrested 20-year-old Santhawan Savan, also known as Benny, in connection to the carjacking and attempted murder of a Stockton police sergeant. Today has been a very difficult and challenging time for not only uh, our police department, our police office association, uh, but for the residents uh, of our great city of Stockton, California. Now, it has been a struggle with the city trying to hire more police officers. They're expected to lose another 10 within the next month and a half. Mayor Kevin Lincoln says that they're looking at some creative incentives on hiring and keeping those officers. One of the things they will be looking at at the end of the year is revisiting Measure A and trying to find some constructive way of restructuring that so that he says they could continue to give the level of police work that this community so deserves. Reporting live in Stockton tonight, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.